Let's bring in General Jack Keane, retired four-star general, chairman of the Institute for the Study of War, former vice chief of staff of the Army, and of course, a Fox News military analyst. General, thank you so much for joining us. Good to be here, Liz. I want to get your reaction on Ellison's reporting, um, because we had heard the Secretary of State Rex Tillerson say that he feels they could be acting out in the pressure that they're feeling, but then we also hear that they also launched their most successful test missile to date a week ago. What's your reaction to this? Well, the North Koreans, they're, they're continuing to pursue their very aggressive missile ballistic testing program, uh, despite our diplomatic efforts, despite our economic pressure of sanctions, despite enjoining the, the Chinese to help here. I, I think it's this time of this probably has something to do with Trump's visit to the Middle East, certainly, because Kim Jong-un, his history is he wants attention. The world is focused someplace else. He's going to get a little bit of attention here. But I think what will happen with, with the team in the White House and the State Department, eventually they're going to have to come to grips with, is China really helping here or not? And here's why I'm saying that. China has said that we're going to not accept their coal products anymore. Well, right. the fact is, after that statement that they made, they did accept some coal products. Yeah. So Secondly, not they, China said they're going to cut off the oil and not give it to North Korea. But there's no way we can check on it because it goes through a pipeline. Right. So some assessment will eventually have to be made. Is China gaming us like some of us suspect they are? And they're not going to really deliver here. And then we're going to have to go this by ourselves. So 